Hi class, my name is Skylar Huff. I'm your instructor for your Introduction to Biology course. Of course, the course is numbered Bio 101. And this is a four-hour course, Bio 101, section WS 900. And with that being a four-hour course, of course, this class is completely online. If you have any questions throughout this brief tutorial, please email those questions to me directly. So I'll start here, as you all can see at the coastalalabama.edu website. Once you navigate here, this is where you can find everything you need. So the first thing you should do is navigate over to Student Login. So once you get to Student Login, of course you click Student Login. Once you click Student Login, it will take you to the logins that you have. The first of which you'll see is your MyCA student account. The next you'll see is Canvas. And this is where I will begin the tutorial. So since I've already logged in, I'm going to click over to my other tab for what you all should be able to see. So the only course listed here, since I am in student view, showing you what you all should see, is Introduction to Biology 1. So upon clicking the course, you'll get to a page that looks similar to this. However, once I am now here, I'm going to click on over so I can see the actual course itself, as you will do. And this is what comes up. So now that you are here, this is what you will see each time you log in. So to help you all out, I'll firstly go down to Syllabus to show you the course syllabus. So as the course syllabus loads, here you will see everything that we will do throughout the course. And I will not read all of this to you at the moment. However, this gives you all the information you need as far as what is to be expected. And I'll scroll down to the very bottom because this gives a great display of everything you will do. So if you look all the way down, this does show every single thing that is planned for the school, this school semester, this being the semester. At any rate, now that I've shown you this, I'm going to scroll back up at the top. To go to where I'd like to be, which is modules. So course modules displays everything you all need to do each and everything planned for this course. So now that I'm at modules, the first thing that you all will have to do is go through each and every item that's located here in the course overview. So of course I click how to use this course and the information comes up showing us, showing me how to use the course along with the video. So now I'm here, I will click next because you have to view everything you see here. In a moment, I will upload the syllabus, which is not yet here. And this is the about your instructor. So I am the instructor, I'm Skylar Huff, I am from Mississippi. And I'll spare you the rest of what's here, but you are certainly free to read this at your convenience, because you do have to see this. The next thing I'll go to is where it says Download Lockdown Browser. So, of course, there is a video showing you how to download the Lockdown Browser, and the link is located here for you to download this Lockdown Browser. And if you're wondering why you need this, this is needed for you all to take all of your tests, including the syllabus quiz, which is the first thing that you will complete by Friday of the week to come. Excuse me. Next is the syllabus quiz indeed, which I will not complete at this moment. However, the due dates will be shown. So I'll go now back to modules. <clears throat> so now that modules have come up, I have not completed all items, being that there is one item that has not yet been completed. Excuse me. But I will mention one thing. As I mentioned earlier, it says that you will have to use Respondus Lockdown Browser, and it does say it is required plus webcam. So as you will see some your syllabus, you will have to use the webcam on this syllabus course as a practice for your ensuing final exam, which will be at the end of the semester. Excuse me. So now that you've done that, the next thing that you will see is everything that will be completed throughout the module. So each module is laid out in this very same way, this being module one. 
And since this is module one, it says that there are two chapters. So since there are two chapters, you have two weeks to complete the work here. It should not take two weeks. However, two weeks have been provided to complete this work here. In addition, it tells you what labs that you all will complete. So the labs are as follows. It says lab safety, the scientific method, and then the third and final one is metric measurements. So the first thing that you will see here is the chapter one outline. Once you all click that, you are able to download the chapter one outline. However, if you're not able to download the outline, the outline does come up. So this is the outline. Each outline should begin as follows. It should have key terms, as well as questions to answer, to follow along in your textbook. So I will not go down through all of this at the moment, but this is the outline that you all will complete for the first of two chapters in your first module. And since I am mentioning the textbook, this is your textbook, Essentials of the Living World, the fifth edition by Johnson. So along with this textbook, just make sure you all do purchase your connect code so that you are able to do those connect labs. So now you have the chapter one PowerPoint presentation being downloaded, or at least loading. It's only two megabytes, so it's not a huge file. However, with each chapter, there are, well, with each chapter, there is a PowerPoint presentation to accompany the chapter that you are about to study. Since it's taking quite long, we're going to skip over to the next outline, which is the chapter two outline, so the second of two outlines, for your first module. And of course, this thing loads a lot quicker than, than does the PowerPoint. And of course, that does depend on your bandwidth. And then, afterwards, we'll move on to the chapter two PowerPoint presentation, as previously stated. And I'll continue on because it's taking a bit longer than I thought it would take. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, this shows you how to connect Canvas Deep Integration for Student Registration. So, what I'm getting to now is that this will allow you all to access Connect directly from Canvas. And as this has now loaded, this tells you everything you need to do in order to access Connect. And if, in fact, you have not yet purchased your textbook or your Connect code, duly note that you will be provided a, I believe, seven-day trial to get you over that at least this very first week of classes. So now, of course, this tells you to select your course. Upon selecting your course, it says now to click on the Canvas Deep Connection link via your course navigation window. So if you navigate over to the left-hand side, where you now see my mouse cursor, There it is. So that's what you will click. So upon clicking this, this will allow you all to connect directly to Canvas so you can access all of the labs directly from here. There's no need to go anywhere else to access your labs. And of course, it says begin once you begin. Then of course, you enter your email address. Hopefully you all do indeed use your Coastal Alabama Community College email address. And then thereafter, you check out your redeem, meaning your registration code that came with your book, and if not, you can purchase one online, and then of course start your courtesy access as previously stated. Thereafter, you have success, and now you can connect directly here via Canvas. So next, I'll take you to your very first lab, which is lab safety. So of course it is now locked, but when it is unlocked, you may click here directly to access each of the three labs, or of course, each of the two labs, depending upon the number of labs provided per module. So I'm going to directly click through these to the next lab, which should be the scientific method, and then finally, metric measurement, and then I'll go here to homework. So each week, well, excuse me, each module, there will be a homework assignment that you all should upload. And this, as well as all homework assignments, will be uploaded to turningin.com. So since it's not yet open, you cannot see it, but you simply upload your file here as instructed to do so. And then finally is the test. So in each and every module, they're going to be the very same way. It'll go from the chapter to the PowerPoint presentation to the labs for the week, your homework turning link, and then finally, as you see here on the screen, 
the test. So it does indeed say it requires Respondents Lockdown Browser. Your tests are worth 80 points each. There are 41 questions on this test. It tells you when it's available. It tells you the due date. And of course, your time limit. So each test gives you, I'm sorry, you provide it two hours for each test, excluding the final. You have more time to take your final exam. So I would say this now concludes the video. But if ever you need me or need any assistance, please let me know. I'm happy to teach you this semester. And of course, the wonderful biology. Thank you and have a great day.